Hello, everybody, to the heart, mind, and the soul, Goddess Love. Here today, we're doing a peach French toast stuff at that. And we have extra peaches on the side, and we sprinkled it or dust it, however you want to call it, with powdered sugar, and we also added butter. And this is our ingredients. Is our chopped peaches, our cream cheese filling, and our peaches for the side. And if you can't find your French toast, Texas toast, in the store, by all means, go ahead and get you two slices of white bread, wheat bread, whatever you prefer, or baguettes. And this is our filling that we have, too, as well for our French toast. And what we have is our flavored milk. I use caramel milk. You can use pet milk if you like or whole milk. It's up to you what you want to use. And we use nutmeg, butter, and our extract. Whatever flavor floats your boat. Go ahead and do your French toast, whatever flavor. You can use strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, as long as it's meeting your needs. These are very easy, delicious recipes and videos that you're watching. So go right ahead and share, like, and give me a thumbs up. Okay, let's go ahead and build our uh, French toast. We're going to center it with our cream cheese filling, and then next we'll go from there. Okay, now that we have our French toast spread it with our cream cheese filling, all our cream cheese is the cream cheese itself, vanilla extract, and your sugar. I would use powdered sugar for this because it's a center, and you're going to dip it into your filling uh, to coat your bread. So I would use a powdered sugar, and then you're just going to go ahead and just take your a flavor of fruit and put it in the center. You're going to have to cook this on low, okay? And then you're going to take your other piece of bread and you're just going to put it on top. Like so. And then you may want to kind of like push the edges down a little bit. And then we're going to dip it into our filling. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and put in our stuffed French toast into our filling. We're going to submerge it. And now, once it's submerged, just flip it over. And take it out. The dish that you had it in, go ahead and place it back into it, just like so. Since you use your hands, go ahead and um, wash them. What you, you're going to have to carry the dish over there, so you just don't want to make a mess. So go ahead and wash your hands. 